All right, everyone. It is me, uh, Johnson Chen, and uh, feels pretty good to let me stretch a little more. Oh, I had a really good night's sleep last night. I went to bed early. It was like twelve. It was like midnight, twelve twenty. Uh, you know, I have to admit, playing Tarkar really does like pump your adrenaline like crazy. So it's like you know, like you don't even want to eat, you know, which is why I've actually been liking. Well, I mean, like, I don't even want to play it right now because I had my satisfaction from playing Tarkov, but it's so good for like making my body not get hungry. So it's like, yeah, I'm trying to like push the thing. So, uh, but anyway, I'm being more aggressive about my eating habits. So you know, I'm trying to accelerate my weight loss. You know. Uh, I forgot what it is I was thinking about today. I was lying in bed, but uh, yeah, it's like yeah, you know, as I get as I lose more and more weight, the natural amount of calories I consume per hour go down because there's less weight to maintain, you know. And it made me realize, yeah, that's probably why I have to build muscle, right? Because um, what you call it, you know, body fat can consumes uh calories per hour too that's why if you're really fat funny and ironically enough you will actually burn more energy even though you're not eating as much right simply because there's so much mass on your body that your body has to maintain well that well maintaining but that much body mass requires more energy so the reason why you probably regain a big part of the reason why you regain weight so quickly is you know you're not really building muscles so you know you lose weight but your brain hasn't adjusted it. your brain still thinks you're like 400 pounds even though you're actually 200 pounds then you have to keep eating to overcompensate because you know your your brain and hormones are out of out of balance out of whack so but you know weightlifting will kind of help with that because you know because when you build more bu uh, muscle mass that requires a lot more energy to maintain but you don't get act you don't actually get fatter so it's perfect for your for your you know hormones in your brain so it's like ugh, which sucks is you know it's like oh i'm gonna keep lifting weights but you know oh well that's just the price you have to pay but uh, at any rate, it seems like I might finally have gotten my body to adjust to my new weight, so I might be able to push further down again. So uh, we'll see how that goes. You know, obviously, it's going to take a while, so you know that, that's just how it goes. Uh, so anyway, uh, I got pretty mad today because uh, now Yahoo Finance, I think they're still, do they still have that thing here? Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, oh, uh, we'll get the coronavirus check soon. Yeah, I don't even see it here. Yeah, so they actually had an article on Yahoo Finance. It looks like they decided to pull it off. I'm going to re hit the refresh button once more. But they actually are, are now covering the meat shortage. It looks like they decided to take it off because people were getting angry or fearful or whatever. Me, personally, obviously, I just want this stupid asshole shut down to end. Um... Uh, and, you know, there could be some politics involved, right? Like, you know, they just want to drive up food prices. Uh, the flip side is, though, it's like I looked up Tyson Foods, which is over here. They're actually a really big company. I didn't know they were that big. 22.457 billion market cap. And we look at the six month thing when coronavirus, you know, was, a, you know, hitting its worst. It dropped to like 44.18. But now it's basically back to almost to where it was. Right? So it's not going to go up any higher until we look to sh uh, shut down. So Tyson's been shutting down their plants. I think they're to the ground 20 or 30 percent. Uh, other Smithfields and other big, uh, big processing plants are also shutting down, like around the same similar amounts, like a couple plants or 20 percent or whatever. Um, obviously, I'm just getting angry because like now when I go to Target, there's going to be even less fucking meat, right? Especially if people are panic buying, right? Which is kind of pissing me off. Uh, which means, yeah, I'm going to actually run out of my sausages, right? Because I have chicken in the fridge. Uh, I'm going to run out of sausage probably. So I'm actually, after I finish this, I'm probably going to go to Target. Well, I already went to the supermarket last, last Sunday or a couple days ago. I forgot when I went, right? But I went very recently, so I'm not even supposed to go there. But I have to go and restock just in case, right? You know, because I want to make sure I have my uh high protein low cap relatively low calorie foods right and i also have another opportunity to buy another two uh quarts of egg substitute right because i need to keep losing weight right i can't do that if the only thing that's left in the fucking fr uh, frozen fresh food section of target is you know the really expensive shitty tyson meat like that's the thing i even like all that was left well like 
I think it was a month ago now or something. I all all the ch all the chicken that was left was like Tyson food, so I bought that. It was really expensive, and it tasted like shit. It's like, do they even treat their birds right? So it's like, ugh. but at least I guess there's a reason why they're like, you know, I guess that means I should buy their stuff because they know how to really price gouge customers, right? You know, that that's the flip side. Right? On the one hand, if you're the customer, it sucks to buy Tyson. On the other hand, if you're the shareholder, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, you're gonna make a lot of money, so. You know, maybe I can get my money back that way. Uh, well, that being said, I wouldn't. I would not run my company like that. I would just just give everybody good shit and just take the lower profits, right? Because I'd rather build goodwill with the customer and really my employees. Uh, Jeff Bezos. I'm still reading more of his book. I'm actually eager to go back to programming again. You know, especially try out that tower defense module uh, uh, pre-build template thing. Um, it actually seems like maybe that's actually what I want. I want I should be buying these pre-made things are for for a very specific purpose, you know. And it has all the fancy UI stuff, so I don't have to code as much, uh, you know. And then of course I make everything 3D now, so and then just do like an isometric view or 2.5D view, which I kind of I mean I don't mind it that much, but I really would have preferred a 2D game. But at this point, I'm just gonna have to just deal with it because like. Making a purely 2D game just makes me run as so many bugs. Uh, it, it's just like, wow. You know, you would think it would be easier, you know, but apparently it's not uh, to code. But anyway, um, no, was I was like rambling about food. Yeah, but anyway, I'm just trying to see if I can, like, I've noticed nobody's really, uh, nobody on our side is really demanding, you know, reopening America. You know, uh, if anything, they're just hammering either. Well, they've kind of backed off a lot on China, so that's good. Uh, but it's really just more like hammering, like, hey, you know, we need more nationalism. We need more uh, immigration uh, restrictions or immigration moratoriums, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, uh, which is good, right? You know, got to take advantage when you can. Because funny enough, the liberals actually cannot really take advantage of this because they caused this shit, right? Their open borders policy and their, like, fucking stupid impeachment shit basically blindsided us when it came to coronavirus right that's and then it was true that's why the democrats have actually suddenly you know for a while just like yeah let's back off a little yeah well we'll keep attacking trump but let's let's avoid the impeachment part right because 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 the impeachment was really going nuts right and that's when we were hit with coronavirus and now we're dealing with this shit and in addition to that People are getting mad about fucking immigration, right? Because we have this fucking coronavirus stuff. I mentioned this before in previous videos, right? It's like, you know, before you could kind of just ignore it, right? Nick Fuentes brought this up. You could kind of ignore it, right? Oh, the deficit's going up. Oh, debt's going up. But you don't really feel it. This coronavirus shit, you can feel it. When I go to Target, I have to wait in fucking line because they're restricting the amount of people are coming in and out of the goddamn Target, all right? I'm actually feeling it. Right? And I'm in a pretty decent position to deal with this shit. I can only imagine what happens if you're actually suffering. Right? And there's going to be a lot more people suffering out there than myself. So what do you think that's going to do? It's going to create a lot of angry people. Right? There's a reason why the Pentagon is now releasing the stupid UFO bullshit, retard bullshit, is to distract, especially the conservatives, with all this stupid fucking distractions, hoping they don't get angry and keep protesting in like the many of the heads of the elites. So... You know, um, so of course it'll work, but then a couple days later they'll just go right back to protesting. Um, Colorado and somewhere else actually reopened their states already. I found that out funny enough from a uh, is today a holiday Google search and they listed all the holidays for every state and they actually started listing listing states that say last day of shutdown <laughs> is considered a holiday. Which is a, yeah, at this point I will. But anyway, I'm not gonna. I don't want to fearmonger the fucking meat shit too much, but. Actually, be, oh, actually, the thing is actually here. The supply chain is breaking. Um, of course, Yahoo is lagging me now. Uh, 20 hours ago. Uh, France to reopen shops, U.S. to boost testing virus update. Uh, oh, this is actually, yeah. So this is the Reuters article that I was reading that was posted on, uh, on Yahoo Finance front page today. But yeah, they're uh, they're they're culling a lot of their livestock. So we're, we're so, so a lot of people are starving and they're killing like fucking livestock that could easily feed us. This is exactly like what what happened in the Great Depression. Funny enough, you know, you can thank the fucking Democrats for this bullshit. So anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for this oh for have not been released for this week. 
Uh, we're getting closer to the halving. I guess we're not getting a pop up over here. Uh, but with that being said, Bitcoin is at 63.8% Bitcoin dominance. 24 hour volume is 125.3 billion. Oh, there it is. So it is, there's the halving thing. Bitcoin's at 77.50. So we're getting ready to halve. Uh, this is pretty impressive considering um, it's in the middle of coronavirus. Now, everything would have been skyrocketing, but of course, coronavirus. And on top of that, if you remember from 2016, when Bitcoin halved, um, it basically didn't really go up that much, right? It, that came later, right? It's about six to nine months later. Now, I can't remember, after it halved, was there a brief period where it dipped? I think it did, and then it was shot back up really fast. It was a really weird thing. The thing is, we look at price charts of Bitcoin today, right now, they don't, you don't see that dip. I could have sworn I remember something like that. It was really brief though, so. Oh well, anyway, Litecoin's at 44.73. Doggy coin, uh, where's dog coin? Is at 291.4 million market cap. So everything's looking pretty solid. Everything's basically going up despite coronavirus, so that's good. And Steam is at 19.90 cents. Now it turns out that Steam uh, locked the account blocktrades.us. All right, they mentioned it in their blocktrades.us uh, website. So that's why you can't sell your Steam to blocktrades anymore. What you can do though is trans trade your Steam and turn it into Hive or any other coin and then just, you know, cash out that way. So yes, yeah, so you guys can see this. So yeah, that's all that you can do, Steam. And then they explain it in their uh, blog post over here. Now I want to show you some. Now I'll point something uh, very important, which is, uh, yeah, it's because of my proxy. This thing is so slow. I don't want to read the whole thing, but basically, Justin Sun and the entire Steam network blocked their account, so now they can't even access it anymore. Um, so first of all, it's a cryptocurrency. So how the fuck can you block it? And I knew right from the get go, there was something wrong with this shit. And that is why I'm not using D2 or D, uh, D whatever, because all this shit is centralized. All right. The, in this case, it's centralized by a mob of people, but that's still centralization, right? Cryptocurrency, you, you either have your money or you don't, right? How is this fucking different from JP Morgan Chase, you know, banning conservatives off of their banking accounts? It's not. They could just simply ban you, right? So, you know, so definitely we're going to definitely. So that, and then Hive is a carbon copy paste of Steam. So they still have the same censorship protocols in there if they want to do it. So what does that mean? Yeah, well, A, it means I'm not going to tell you what my accounts are, which sucks because I actually want to take donations someday with Steam and Hive Power, but maybe I don't want to do that. And number two, it just means like, okay, guess what? I'm just going to have to fork this and create my own, uh, you know, blockchain, right? That way I obviously cannot ban myself. Or uh, maybe I can look into Ethereum. But to be honest, I think Ethereum still has something that could ban you too, right? Um, I haven't heard anyone talk about that much. But I obviously don't trust it. It's definitely not safe, like let's say... Well, first of all, my cryptos, right, and two by two coin, right, because we can't censor you, right? Even if we wanted to, we can't, because it's actually pure. It's actually truly decentralized, all right. Dog coins decentralized, Litecoin's coins decentralized, Bitcoin obviously is decentralized. So um, I don't know. Going for, but I'm definitely not going to use Tron. Like Justin Sun has clearly proven to be like some piece of shit, you know, f word asshole. So. Uh, just not going to deal with it. Mitch really likes Tron, though, but I don't know. I haven't been able to talk to him because, again, he's kind of in hiding right now because of coronavirus. So, um, but yeah. In the meantime, I'm getting ready to do a uh, coin swap, too. So, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, anyway, um, let me see. Block trades. Yeah. So, anyway, we, that's enough with that. But, yeah, but basically it's centralized. So, I'm still going to invest in it and still do what I normally do. But I'm definitely not going to put all my eggs in my basket with that. I'm definitely not going to be using any of their services, right? You know, because I don't want them to know who I really am. So in case I ever say something they don't like, they can't just fire up the masses and just ban my account. And basically, uh, they can't steal my money, but they can lock me out of my money. So if I have like a million dollars in there, they can just destroy it. You know, the mob can just destroy it. So it's like, what's the point of using your shitty fucking crypto, right? So, um but yeah, but that's fine. Like going forward, you know, once I have my RMT system up, you know, maybe, you know, years down the line, right? I got a company, obviously, the games are successful, blah, 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 
right? We're just gonna fork. We're just gonna copy and paste their code, and then you know we'll use our own shit. All right. Um, oh God. Now we have fat. Ugh, now we have fat people in these fucking ads. And of course, I cannot hit the X button on this shit. All right. Anyway, uh, there's there's that. All right. Let's see. Home price growth accelerated ahead of the virus shutdown. What? Uh, it went up during the shutdown. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, I will be getting my stimulus check on April thirtieth. So now that Congress, now that Democrats finally gave us fucking money, right, and stopped blocking my Trump books. Uh, yeah, I'll be getting my cash on. Uh, let's see, thirtieth. That sounds good. That's this Thursday. So I'm gonna get my twelve hundred bucks. I guess it should be twelve hundred. It doesn't. It actually didn't say how much money I'm getting, but it just says I'm eligible for a payment. But I mean, I know it's gonna be twelve hundred, so whatever. Accelerate. Oh yes, I got to Uh, yes, I before the coronavirus force. Oh, okay. So this was before. Yeah. So so yeah. Of course, uh, real estate was going up. All right. Uh, but then those were before coronavirus. All right. So seven to nine for JMC coin. Very good. 404 stable, 7 to 8. Uh, 2 by 2 is 66 to 71, actually. So it's been it's been pretty stable here. Uh, compound, uh, let's see. Compound coin is 5100 to 6169 Satoshis of a dog coin. So not too bad, not too bad. Um, yeah, so yeah, compound's just been kind of hanging around. Uh, Bitcoin wallet will crash. Don't care. Bitcoin will be on face with price crash ahead of May 12th halving. 16 hours ago. What are they talking about? I mean, was there some, what? I, see, there's so, like, just so much craziness going on with Bitcoin. There's a, there's a reason why I, I don't mind just doing these once a day at most, right? Even though it might be tempting to do it a lot. Or maybe I'm in just, well, now it's, you know, just five days a week. So it's like, what, what are these people talking about? All right, so nothing of note on Google News for Bitcoin because everyone's just you know yapping dumb shit. Uh, what is this? That is oh my god! I did not want to click that. I just want this shit to. Crypto newbie series seven ninety percent Taiwan volatility as April comes to a close. Hive the thirty seventh largest for it. Uh, oh yeah, it's uh, yeah. So they're actually covering Hive finally. Let's see where is Hive. Now it's down to. Uh, so that's not 47. Yeah, I don't actually know what the real price of Hive is, but it's a little crazy right now. Uh, score crypto product could do for payments when Elon Musk did for say, well, fee was available like, because he's a face hurdles, blah, 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 blah. new Bitcoin model, control, blah, 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 blah. Attains you said as long term holder. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Oh, this is interesting. So Trump's been going up, Biden's been going down, as is appropriate. Uh, this is hilarious. Hillary Clinton wants to, you know, God. Like, how, like, even the liberals, well, not specific, specifically some progressives are getting pretty angry about the shutdown. So, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, I think we're... I lost my train of thought. I was thinking about something else. Um, oh, yeah. But some progressives are getting pretty angry about the shutdown. I was retweeting somebody from Matt, who's, I think, actually knows Nick Fuentes pretty well. But anyway, he posted some clip, but I don't remember it. But he basically, they said some, some two Zoomers went on some random news show. I've never seen or heard of them before. It looks pretty professional, so they probably you know do something pretty good pretty well uh and they actually said that a lot of progressives are actually joining the trump protesters and then, you know they want to like you know open up america so you know that's all i want you know i don't need to milk this shit i just want shit to go back to normal because you know no matter what happens right you know we're going to win whether we hold power or not is funny enough going to be ultimately up to me right but even then i don't know like if people if if people don't want to listen to what I have to say and they keep doing stupid shit, you know, and pissing people off on purpose and troll rather than, you know, show the virtues of actual conservatism or free speech, they're not going to hold power. You know? Yeah, on top of that, they want to run around and ban porn and ban whatever else that's unchristian, right? I mean, that's censorship. So, eh. 
But we can worry about that later, right? Uh, so he's General Flynn. A fifth uh, half of all coronavirus deaths have been in nursing homes. Yeah, exactly. This shit has been so fucking overblown. Uh, collusion narrative. Trump really should push the impeachment has hobbled us on coronavirus response. That's really what Trump should be doing. Uh, I don't care about Diane Silk. When the party have been test currency, we made direct progress. That's, yep. Texas to open business and phases beginning Friday. Great job being done by Greg Abbott. So this Friday, Texas will be reopening as well. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's true. First, there's a short of meat dusting for the grocery shelf. It might take sort of you to restock here. Probably due to supply chain. It's rather we have a million. Many million are running cold sort across the nation. Ah, so, so it looks like they're trying to, okay, so maybe they are running fake news with a supply chain disruption. I don't know, like you're actually running out, you're actually running 20%. I mean, this one's a little hard because you're actually reducing the supply creation. Let's see, yes, it's true. All right, so this is actually pretty good. So we actually need to read this. Because this is actually what I've been bitching about all day. I'm actually getting pretty angry. So I'm glad that Trump's actually addressing that. So we'll actually read that for last. And we'll make that the uh, thing. Uh, let's see. This is actually true. Now that being said. Now with that being said. They might actually be shifting into still. Because they were trying to go all in on the coronavirus hysteria fears. And it's not working. So maybe supply chains might work. I mean, if that's the case, then I definitely fell for it. The thing is, I don't feel fear. I just find it annoying. It's just pissing me off. I don't feel fear. Especially now that I'm just getting much better with, you know, my relationship with God or whatever, you know. I don't care if people think, oh, you're not a good Christian. Well, actually, no one really complains about that. So I guess I don't have to worry about that. All right, because, again, I can see, all right, just like what Rouge V would say. Though he, he in his context, is very more to... Uh, Blaming and criticizing, uh, uh, I better not say. I don't want to get the platform, but trust me, if you watch Rouge V, you, you you know what he likes to complain about. You know, but he says I can see. Well, I can see too. So you know, getting right with God it gives you really, you know, it gives you holy vision. I guess I mean, it's not the come with the thing. Yeah, she is so hot. Um, let's see, she is. Wait, she's actually the official White House press secretary now? She would actually make a pretty good press secretary. She's definitely a really good looker, too. She's also very, like, a cheery, uh, cheer cheerful person. I really like uh, Kaylee. I will have to admit, though, the um, the Trump TV thing, that and then Trump put her in charge of that, that thing was pretty cringe, because it really felt like, yeah, this is pure propaganda now. It's like, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Million for food banks and by coronavirus. You're also going to help with states' food, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, notice that Bloomberg and Warren Buffett ain't helping us with this shit. Uh, it's not red versus that. It's us together versus this virus. All right. Well, Cuomo's been more or less been pretty good. At he's actually been very good at coronavirus. So he's, you know, I mean, the only time he gets mad is really just at Trump. And even then, it's actually just kind of just like, yeah, it's just, you know, we're both New Yorkers. We're just doing the New York thing, so. Uh, milk shouldn't be dumb. We are a part of the New York City so to use the excess milk to make yogurt and cheese with food bags and those in need. Yeah. We're taking real growth to say that each read is facing its own set of facts, but health comes first, and okay, very good. Mm. Okay, so infection rate was there actually going down. That's good. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, very good. All right. Uh, so let's, let's see. Uh, published a front page, uh, the food supply is breaking. It was a Friday, it's from major man, but there's more to the story. Okay. Yes, it's true that meat packers like Tyson Foods has been super disrupted by coronavirus. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Hold on. Let me see. I've been disconnected. Fuck, I've been disconnected. Uh, yes, it's true. God, I did not want to click this. Also, I figured out how to do this. I think you just hit the reply button and it just adds a tweet to all of this. 
Uh, we're mapping Corona 19. Uh, da, 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 oh. But while plant closure may lead to temporary meteor, the system is not likely to break down despite the severity of current challenges. Uh, Jess Taya Fu, I don't know who that is, and Claire Brown explain why. All right. Uh, well, Trump was willing to retweet this, otherwise I was going to say this better not be a fucking lie. First, there is no shortage of meat destined for the grocery shelf. It will take stores longer to restock certain items due to supply chain disruptions, but we have many millions of pounds of meat and cold storage across the nation. Case in port, pork loins and cold storage reach an all-time high this year, 50 billion in uh, its most rec since records stated to be kept in nine. The most since rec oh, okay, since 1960. These frozen stock will make up for any lost processing capacity in the short term. Oh, okay, so we do have some sort of food reserves. Workers face real fear for the health and safety. As long as that's true, current slower capacity will be limited. The cost of labor will rise, and eventually retail prices will will too. Okay, so this makes sense because I don't work in a meat packing facility, right? Because I couldn't really bring myself to do something like that, especially when you have sharp blades and like dangerous ass shit. And honestly, you're packing meat, so everyone does need to be clean. Otherwise, you know, again, that's why even when you go to a grocery store, you buy meat, you still have to wash your heads and thoroughly cook it, right? Because jerk, like, there's gonna be a lot of germs and shit, right? And if you got coronavirus on it, I mean, <laughs> yeah. So okay, so that's good. All right. Right now, there is no lack of animals to process. With plants closed, farmers and ranchers have fewer weeks to sell into markets to sell into. So slaughterhouses that remain open are likely to see supply gluts. Yeah. So right now, the problem is the processing. The slaughterhouses are the or the processing plants. They're closing down. So we have excess supply of animals. So that's why they're slaughtering. Okay. Then there's the tangled logistics. There's plenty of meat on hand that was headed to restaurants and commercial food service. It'll take some time for meat packers to convert bulk products into portion sizes the general public can work with. Uh, the report we've reported two big to pivot issues in the grain, dairy, and produce industries too. It's a vulnerability laid bare by this pandemic. Huge top-down supply chains may be ruthlessly efficient, but they're not nimble. Uh, yes. Well, guess what? It looks like it looks like uh, Jeff Bezos and Amazon's got a new angle to work with. Smaller businesses have different vulnerabilities, and while they face challenges too, some have managed to pivot quickly enough to keep products on the shelves. Yeah, very good. It's distressing to see big meat packers in flux because just four of them dominate 80% of the supply chain, but they're not the entire supply chain. Hangups at the largest, most crowded plants don't mean the whole system is in trouble. Companies like Tyson have been hit hard by coronavirus, but they are also powerful plant cash, vast warehouses of frozen meat on hand. They may be struggling now, but they have the political, financial, first structural resources they'll need to survive. Yeah, I'm not worried about Tyson going bankrupt. I'm just like, can I have fucking any kind of meat at a relatively stable price at the store? Or is there everything going to be, or am I going to have to just buy random shit that's going to cost me like 20 bucks? You know, that's really going to make me very angry. All right, very angry. Because not only am I jeopardizing my health, but I'm also losing more money. All right, because... You know, not all food is created equal. Right? I put something specific when I eat my food, right? Because A, I got to watch out for chemicals. B, I want to make sure that the animal that I'm eating is kind of humanely treated, right? Because it's going to affect me when I obviously eat the bird. And then, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, I have to eat enough so that, you know, yeah, I'm still, because I'm trying to lose weight too, but I mean, it looks like from the way things are going, I'm going to be forced <laughs> to lose weight, right? So, you know, I need to be, you know, I have to maintain my weightlifting and shit, right? You know, because if, if you notice, a lot of people, a lot of conservatives in the South, especially, for some reason, they have a lot of health problems, right? And they're, and they're fat, all right? A lot of them are fat. Obviously, not all Southerners, but a lot of them are, all right? And why is that? It's because they're exposed to way too much fat and they don't have access to good food or they choose not to. I don't know what the situation is. All I know is it's directly related to your diet, all right? All right. I have a health problem, so I need to keep losing weight or, you know, I'm gonna, or if I actually do get hit with coronavirus, there's actually a pretty high probability it's going to kill me. So, you know, I better like, you know, watch out for it stuff. That's why I'm getting kind of angry. Uh, now, with that being said, luckily, it's now just been reduced to hysteria and it's been getting warmer, even though it's been pretty cold yesterday, possibly today. I don't know. I'm going to find out when I go out. But, uh... 
I don't know. I mean, this is pretty good for reducing fear, but with that being said, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this. Uh, simply, like, here's the thing. If they really have the storage capacity, which I think they do, then why is this shit going up in price, right? Why is... I mean, he did say it would take longer to restock, so maybe it really is just a simple logistics problem, right? Because, again, there's only so many workers that can restock the shelves at Target or your grocery store, right? And everyone's still doing social distancing shit. So that reduces your, your labor supply, so... I don't know. I guess we'll, uh, I guess, we'll, yeah, this is actually a pretty decent uh, thing. Um, now, the good news is we can have beef because you can put, you can put, you can, you can, you can have animal, you can have cows out in pasture, but pigs apparently can't do that. So you either have to process them or kill them. So there's a reason why I don't want to be a farmer. I cannot imagine having to give the order uh, to, as a far as a mass farmer to like okay guys you need you need to abort and inject all the mother pigs to abort their piglets and then just start slaughtering a bunch of, like tens of thousands of pigs I, I could never give something uh, I would I just even thinking about geez so yeah we need to end this shutdown because it's pissing me off all right and if we don't end the shutdown soon then guess what get ready to starve all right and I'm gonna get mad all right Anyway, thank you to the one person that subscribed. Uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my uh, YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JFC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so you can continue uh, growing this channel uh, as usual. Uh, so, anyway, now that <clears throat> you know, I've got the different things going on, I'm trying to figure out you know, how I'm going to, you know, create my YouTube channels. I think what I'm going to do is I'll just have my company name uh, on my YouTube channel, and then I'll just put all the videos on there. I still have my other one that was specific for my dream game, so it's like, I don't want to maintain all this, uh, maintain all these things, but I don't know, I'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, so I get a little hungry, but it's only 10.40 a.m., so it's not time for me to eat yet. I still want to do a little more video game stuff before I run out to Target. I mean, chances are, it's already, shit's already empty. Excuse me. And with that being said, if people are panicking about, you know, fucking meat supplies, I mean, I mean, get what I want there. But I mean, with that being said, I don't mind taking a walk. Today's my physical day off, so, you know, I need some, I need some air, man. This, this, this thing's pissing me. I really shouldn't be getting angry, but, you know, I'm, st I'm getting very irritated. You know, I'm getting, I'm getting irritated, right? Now, the good news is everything's getting better. Uh, but with that being said, oh, I didn't even do my financial analysis. I mean, there's not really much to say, right? Until we reopen, it's not going to go up. It's, I mean, it's that simple, right? You know, Bitcoin crypto is going up because of the halving, but it's not really going to go up that much until at least after we fully reopen the world, which is just fine because traditionally, Bitcoin doesn't even go up until six to nine months or so after the actual halving date. So everything is working just fine as it is, right? So, uh, so the so the flu hysteria, I think. They, they finally have backed off and it might be possible that the fake news terrorist media and the globalist elites now want to transition into fear mongering the meat supply now the problem is there actually is kind of a disruption to it right because you don't just shut down tw like they like this thing said they control 80 percent of the supply chain or whatever right you're shutting down 20 percent of that hmm you know that's pretty disruptive right uh, but, uh, yeah, I wouldn't put it past Tyson and the other big ones. And Smith Fields is actually owned by China. So if they're all colluding to try to fuck us over and get rid of Trump, uh, you know, they're being very evil people. Uh, but with that being said, we'll just have to see. Because, again, uh, it said down here, yeah, the workers are legitimate. Yeah, the workers face a real fear. Yeah, I would feel afraid, too. You know, and then Amazon workers have the exact same fear. In fact, one of them died right here in New York City from coronavirus. So, and, and then Jeff and Jeff Bezos is still. Uh, I think he has since reopened the, the Amazon and warehouse in Queens. By the way, he actually did real. He actually did open in Queens. You didn't hear much about it. And um, AOC didn't say shit because she's like, "Oh fuck, Jeff Bezos is coming for me." <laughs> yeah, there are li so even AOC has limits. So that's actually pretty interesting. That bodes pretty well for me. So eventually I should get rich and powerful enough that people want to fuck me in the ass and I can set. 
I'm gonna fuck them in the ass without their consent. Oh shit, that's right, I'm getting my masks today. Shit, um... Let me see. It is out for delivery. Shit, if I go to Target, I might miss it. Yeah, damn it. Uh, well, read delivery does work. It just takes them to... Uh, I guess I'll read that later. But anyway, no, that means I better hurry up. So I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. We're not doing anything finance-wise. Just, just keep mining, keep holding, and just keep waiting this out. Right? Um, I guess if you could buy Tyson Foods, I was tempted to. But I mean, it's already kind of expensive at 62 bucks. But it's a pretty solid stock, though. Uh, but for now, I, I think I'm all right. You know, I, I, you know, I've got my Trump bucks coming in two days. I've got, you know, we, I, I live in New York, so we're not going to be reopening until at least, what was it he said? Cuomo said May 15th or something. So it's going to be a while. But uh, for, every, for all of you everywhere else, you know, um, most of you are not in New York. Thankfully, so hopefully uh, you're already enjoying the sun or whatever the hell uh, uh, you do when you go out You know, just enjoy something right. That's not inside the house Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching and um, Yeah, stay safe stay healthy and watch out for coronavirus But uh, in the meantime end the shutdown. All right, because at this point, you know, I, I think it's pretty clear uh, That we have a pretty good handle on this. So just start reopening something Judson Chan, JMC coin, a 404 coin. I'm not entirely sold that there's no problem with the supply chain, but on the other hand, it's not time to panic yet, but I'm definitely going to stock up if I can. Um, so, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, that's a very nice picture, by the way.